Hello and welcome back to Growl Model Painting. This episode is a painting tutorial on how to paint the Tyranid High Fleet Leviathan, uh, which is the purple and white uh, kind of colour scheme. So, to start, I've just quickly based this uh, model in white using a skull white primer, and now I'm going to get started with the painting. So, the paints you're going to need. Um, I'll just go for a few um, of the main ones, but all the other ones will be in the description, so go and check them out. Uh, we're obviously going to need some white um, for the skin. Uh, we'll also need um, Hormagon Purple, which is from the old range. I'm mixing the old range and the new range together here, but like I said, all of the paints will be in the description. I'm using Bleached Bone and some Mephiston Red for the claws. I'm obviously going to need uh, Leviathan Purple wash um, for the skin. Um, I'm also going to use colours like Den of Stone and Golden Yellow just for the teeth and eyes, things like that. And we've got a couple of washes here uh, Nuln Oil and Reigland Flesh Shade. So they are the colours that we will need, um, and like I said, they'll all be in the description. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take with Leviathan Purple Wash. Um, and just use a wash brush to apply this all over the model so it doesn't really matter where you get it at this stage because it's such an early stage we can just get a bit of water on my brush and um, start applying this all over the model um, it doesn't even matter how heavy it goes on just make sure you get in every single recess and you cover every surface area so just everywhere on here and then don't be afraid to just keep going back and getting more out of the pot because um, you will need quite a lot to do. Okay, so now that that's dry, we need to move on to painting the skin. So for the skin, we're going to use a mix of ceramite white with bleached bone. So I'm going to make a 50-50 mix of these and we can start layering it onto the skin. Okay so now I've mixed this colour I'm going to go ahead and start layering it onto the skin. Um, we just want to hit the highest areas when we're doing this. So um, for example here and we want to avoid the joints. So this colour is going to be my base colour for the whole all the skin. This is going to be the the main colour for the skin. Obviously if you want it whiter um, you just add more white and if you want it um, creamier you just add more bleach bone to the mix. So the idea is just to layer this over all of these areas. Okay, so now that we've layered the skin, that is pretty much finished. Um, you could add some white highlights, but I want a creamy colour for my skin. So now we're going to focus on the carapace area. Um, and for this, we're going to use Hormagon Purple. Um, and this is a base paint, so we can just um, base all of the uh, carapace area in this colour. Now I'm just going to use um, quite a small brush, just so I don't make a mistake going on to the, um, the skin colour. So I'm just going to base coat the carapace in the Hormagon Purple and make sure you thin it down a little bit because we can get a nice even coverage without it being too thick. Okay, so I've just finished painting the carapace with the uh, Home Gone Purple colour. Um, so now while that's drying, I'm going to focus on any claws. So here, uh, these little ones there, and there should be some claws under here as well, which can be painted with Mephiston Red. So um, any red would do the job, blood red, whatever you've got. Um, but this just has nice coverage. So we'll water it down a little bit because it is thick. and we can start applying it straight to the claws. Now 
Now the uh, red is drying and the purple's dry, we're going to wash the purple um, with non oil. This will give it a nice shade in the recesses. So to do this I'm using a wash brush and um, get a really nice even coverage of the wash. So we're just going to apply this a heavy wash all over the carapace area, so any areas that's purple, um, just going to apply this. Now we need to shade these red areas that we've painted. So we're going to use Reichland Flesh Shade, which is very similar to Ogre and Flesh in the um, old set of paints. So same again, we're going to use the wash brush and we're just going to apply it heavily to these areas. Just to give them some darkness and tone. Okay, so now all that wash is dry, we're going to start highlighting uh, around the carapace here. So to do that, we're going to go back to a uh, Homogon Purple, and we're going to highlight the carapace by giving it streaks of colour. Um, so I'll give an example of how you, how you can do this. So first we want to go around the edge of the carapace. So I'm going to go around here. and around the edge so it's basically an edge highlight but what we can do is add upward streaks which travel up the carapace so we can start at the bottom here and just add streaks going up just to make it look like it's actual made out of bone um, and it gives a really nice effect when you do it all the way up the carapace. So just continuing highlighting around the edge. Okay, so now we need to highlight the red on these clawed areas in the hoofs. So for this I'm gonna use blood red, which is um, quite a nice light red. I'm just going to go along the edge, the sharp edge of the claw. We'll just go along that edge there. Just to make it look a bit lighter. Um, and repeat this on all of the um, claw areas. And you can do it on the hoofs as well. So these um, hoofs here. Just go around the edges just to give it that nice little highlight. That'll really set the red off. Okay so I'm just going to add some extra little highlights and um, what I've done is I've mixed a 50-50 mix of Hormagon Purple in the Ceramite White and um, just to really lighten that purple up a little bit. And with this highlight, I'm just gonna focus right on the sharpest edges of the model. And um, this is an optional highlight, it's just to bring out the carapace a little bit more, and um, because it's looking a bit dull. So one of the last steps we need to do is paint the teeth. Now I'm using a den of stone and just got to be really careful um, to avoid the crevices just to keep that purple wash colour in the crevices um, to give the teeth definition. So den of stone just to bring out these teeth here. Okay so last step I've got some gold and yellow on the brush here. I'm just going to paint his eyeball with it. So just be careful to leave the recess. 
around the eyeball and just to hit the actual eye itself. So we'll do that on both sides and then we can sum it up. Okay, so here's a quick look at um, a finished model. Really doesn't take much time to do, which is good for when you paint a lot of timbers. Um, so it's just a really quick basic way of painting them. Uh, High Fleet Le Leviathan. Um, so we will add pictures on the end of the video so you can have a really proper look at it because um, I know it's quite hard to see at this angle. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel, it really helps a lot, and like the video. Um, so again, thanks for watching.